Hello, and welcome to Martin Maths. We're continuing going through the Maths GCC Foundation Paper 1, the non calculator paper from November 2023. This is question 23. Diagram shows an isosceles triangle A, B, D, isosceles because of those marks there, and the straight line A, B, C there. Now, BA equals BD, that's what makes it isosceles, and X to Y is the same ratio as 2 to 1. So X is double Y. Um, so I'll say uh, 2Y equals X. So I know that X is also there because it's isosceles. And now we're going to work out the value of W, which is here. And we don't have any information in terms of numbers yet, but we know that three angles in a triangle add up to 180, angles on a straight line add up to 180, so we're going to use that piece of information there and there. So now x is double y, so I'm going to call this 2y and that 2y. So then I know that 2y plus 2y plus y will equal 180. That's from that uh, three angles in a triangle. I'm just using shorthand there, but you could write it out more formally, okay, because x is double y. So then I know that 5y equals 180. So y equals 180 divided by 5, which is 3 and 3, which is 36. So this angle here is 36. So put that back into that ratio. 36, x is then 72. So each of those will be 72. And that's 36, it's because 2x, there's 2x's plus that 1y. 144 plus the 36 does add up to 180, just checking that. So now I'm over here, angles in a straight line, add up to 180. So W will equal 180 minus 36, which is 144. And there we go. I can put it here, 144 degrees. It's a four mark question. You should spend about four minutes on that. The things you should be using, three angles in a triangle, Add up to 180, angles in a straight line, add up to 180, and ratio. And then you set up an equation and you, you solve that there. Okay, so lots of maths there. If you know about your angles, you know about ratio, and you're able to solve some algebra, um, then you should be able to get those marks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and good luck with your maths.